You just received the news that your brother is in the emergency room. They think a blood clot broke loose and is on the way to his lungs. Who can you call? Who will come through when you really need them? This is a real scenario that occurred last night in the life of someone in our Connect group. Who did they reach out to? Us, the members of their small group community. A member of our group came to a place where she needed help and support, and she reached out. And she walked through the uncertainty of the night, supported by a small group of people, faithfully praying for she and her brother. God created us to live in community, and community is more than just showing up once a week for church. Community is having people that we group with, in good times and in bad, in the middle of the day and in the middle of the night if necessary. Community is not based on a public profile, but a personal connection. In Numbers 2, the Lord told Moses and Aaron to have the Israelites organized into tribal camps or clans, holding the banners of their family. Breaking the nation into these smaller groupings made travel easier, but it also created an opportunity for close community among God's people. It would have been impossible for everyone in Israel to know everyone else. Tribes, these smaller groupings, allowed people to be known. As a result, the whole nation was stronger and more effective. Problems could be addressed before they grew into disasters. People were easier to find, and it was much less likely that anyone would get lost or fall behind when they were part of a smaller group. We may not use the word tribe anymore, but the need for community is the same. The church is stronger. We are all much stronger when we are connected personally. When we're under pressure in life, the support of friends within the church, our small group in the church, brings clarity and direction. As we grow closer to Jesus, we help others grow closer to Jesus, and the church grows stronger as a result. What's the encouragement from God's Word today? Get involved in a smaller group within the church. Get to know the members of that group and be known by them. Troubles will come, so be prepared and know who you're going to call.